Hello everyone, so today I've got another unboxing video for you. Now, this is a 1970s Hoover Junior. Now, unlike the Senior that I unboxed yesterday, this isn't brand new. I wish it was. But I spotted this on eBay, and I watched it for a few days, the last, I don't know, three days that it had left out of the five, or whatever it was on for. Um, and I put a bid in at the end, because it was only, I mean, for this model, it's a, a relatively rare model, ju uh, Junior. Um, and it was only about £5 or something, so I put a bid in and it went up to about 20 Now, the seller was selling this for spares or repairs, so hopefully I'll be able to get it working. According to the seller, it doesn't have any suction. She said it powers on, but there's no suction, so... It could either be clogged, or it could be problems with the motor. But we'll have a, a punt, you know, for 20 quid. Why not? So here we have the card, which is <laughs> pretty dirty. So the card and the handle, she's wrapped together. There's the top section, a bit grubby. But it'll all clean up, of course. Just as long as I can get it working, then it should be fine. Because it's quite a nice model, this. Yes, the bag's very, very dusty. And there's the outer bag. It's a green coloured 1346 model junior. So. It's not too yellowed, it's a little bit yellowed, of course, it's plastic, plastic ages. So there's the uh, main machine itself. Shift the packaging out of the way. She did leave me a little note, I just noticed in the box. It says, hi Alex, hopefully I've wrapped it well enough to keep it safe. Have fun with the refurb. I look forward to seeing it in all its glory. That was nice of her. I told her that I collect vacuums. I mean, I'm assuming it's a woman. It might be a, might be a fella. Who knows? Right. Let's just quickly throw this together. Okay, so upon first inspection, it seems pretty good. It's quite dirty. You can see that. As you would expect from years and years of use. Um, the handle mechanism actually works. Usually you find with these older juniors the handle release mechanism wears out over time and it won't lock in the upright position normally. Um, if you twisted the handle about the clean head would just fall down and it wouldn't lock anymore but this one seems okay which is good. So it's in relatively good condition. There's a little bit of marking on the front. So the height adjustment hasn't seized, so that's quite good. Let's have a look inside. So there we have the belt, which, of course, is pretty stretched. Ah, well, <laughs> that's why um, the machine doesn't have any suction. The seller said that the motor was running slow and there was no suction, and it's because the motor shaft won't rotate. The motor is completely seized, so I imagine when she turned that on it just made a buzzing sound. So I won't turn this on because I don't want to damage it. So I'll just leave the belt off for now and pop the cover back on. Um, it's not too discoloured. There's a little bit of discoloration, but it's pretty minimal, as you can see. Um, let's have a look inside the bag. So as you can see how grubby it is, um, all this whiteness to the bag um, will come out when it's washed and it'll look very vibrant and green again. So, ah, oh, we have a genuine Hoover bag by the looks of it, or is it? I don't know. No, I don't, no it isn't, it doesn't have the Hoover, oh it's just yellow. The older Hoover bags from like the 80s etc. 
were yellow, so it tricked me. Now this is a generic bag. Anyway, as you can see in there how can't get the light in. How dirty it is. It smells very old. Just pop that back in there. So yeah, it looks good so far. I haven't turned it on, but as I said, I won't do until I've took this apart and had a look at the motor because that won't work in its current state. So we'll have a look. Oh, that looks very good. I'm only looking at it on my viewfinder at the minute. But oh, yes, it's very, um, very good condition that. Nice uh, cream coloured brush roll. In the 70s, Hoover used um, black and cream for their brush rolls. I'm not sure how long they used this colour for. I know this went into the 80s as well, this cream colour on the uh, agitator brush rolls. But anyway, as you can see, all the. Hopefully. I'm working with artificial light here because it's um, gone 4 o'clock and it's quite dark now. But yeah, it's quite dirty in there. As you'd expect, so I'll just take this cover off and we can have a look under there. So I've just popped off the cover to reveal the motor, and as you can see, this folks is why if you get an old Hoover cleaner or any old vacuum cleaner, you need to take them apart and service them because they won't work properly um, after years of use and they look like this. It's very simple to get them looking like new, they just need a good clean out and a good lubricating. But this entire motor will have to come out and be taken apart and serviced. Um, which isn't a difficult job, it's just fiddly. So anyway, just a quick video from me today, unboxing this old, mucky Hoover Junior 1346. In this lovely green colour. So you will see this again at some point soon. Um, I'm off next week so I'll probably make a start on it. Um, so it just needs a good clean and a service and I think it will live to fight another day. So anyway, from me and this old Hoover Junior, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.